Hi guys, and today we'll be reviewing the Raspberry Pi Pico Starter Kit by Geek Pie. Um, you may be interested in this, but even if you're not, this would still be worth watching because some of the components you might like the look of and want to buy them separately. I um, liked the display module, but if I hadn't tested it out, I would not have thought of buying it. Um, this was the starter kit that I got when I was about seven years old, mm -hmm. and we'll be com comparing my, start my old starter kit to this starter kit. Um, at the end of the video. This isn't a paid review, so as we always say, if you think this is good value, if you think you like all the things, then go ahead and get it. If you find a better deal with something that you prefer, then go for that as well. Um, also, apologies for the tidiness. We've only just gotten around to doing this review. We do get sent a few, quite a few products, but there's only three of us and things are still quite chaotic at the moment. Before we get started with the review, we know there's going to be a cross-section of ages and skill levels and abilities. We don't want to patronise anyone, but we also don't want to leave anyone behind at the same time. So. Yeah. With, our, um, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, sorry. So let's open it up. Um, um, we've got a what looks like manual. Because this is a Raspberry Pi Pico starter kit, of course you've got to have the Raspberry Pi Pico, which is here. I know most of you guys will know what a Raspberry Pi Pico is, but if you don't, this is a Raspberry Pi here. There. And this sure is also a Raspberry Pi. Um, I'll hold it. Thank you. And those are usually used for things like... These are computers. Computers, yeah. So Surfing the, games. Surfing the internet. Yeah. yeah, with your keyboard and the mouse, playing games like Ziva said. You know, you plug it into a monitor, mouse, keyboard. So it's got all the graphics and that sort of stuff that you're used to. Um, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, on the other hand... It's a microcontroller. Yeah. So microcontrollers are usually used in electronics projects. You might find them in your... Washing machine. That's not what I meant. Or other or other digital devices um, that you yeah. have. Oh yeah, it looks like we've got some head pins which you will have to solder on. Bear in mind. Okay, However, so. oh yeah, we've got an example of that. Yeah, this there. is what it should look like, like when you've soldered them on. Well, we've got a video where we soldered the head pins onto the Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. but then we've also got another video where we show you tips and trips, tricks how to solder. And uh, my little sister does her first soldering job in that yeah. video. So don't be put off by soldering because it's not too hard. But if you didn't want to solder, then you can pick up these Raspberry Pi Picos with the header pins already soldered on. Um, we've also got this lead here to plug into the Raspberry Pi and connect it up, which is very useful. You don't you have to buy any it. extra components. You plug this into the Raspberry Pi and then you can put the code onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. So that's how the code gets on. We've also got the very, very useful breadboard for your simple circuit setup. Yeah. So when your header pins are soldered on, you can just slot the breadboard in and then connect the um, components to the, um, to the Pico. We've got this here, so if I take it out, which is a NeoPixel ring. That's going to be very fun. I know a lot of you will know what a NeoPixel ring is, but if you don't, it's just a load of um, lights that are made out of red, red, green and blue. Yeah, red, green and blue. You can make the, a lot of different colours with these, which is very fun. Yeah, and it looks like you've got 16 lights here, so. Yeah. We've got LEDs here. Now these are just like little lights and then um, they're blue red and yellow they're fun components yeah um we've also Ooh. got a load of oh. jumper wires here these just slot into your breadboard so you can make circuits really easily we've got this as what i call it a scrolly text thingy this specific one is called a max 7219 matrix display and very simply these little circles light up and you can control how many and which ones light up to create shapes and pictures and make scrolling text for example you usually get them separated, but it looks like there's four joined together here. These would make good teeth for these pumpkins we've made. Yeah. So really cool that these are included in the set. We've also got a load of resistors here. Mm-hmm. To so um, that you don't break any of your components. Yeah. We've also got this display module, which looks pretty cool. Um, its actual name is LCD1602. Um, so it can show you things like text, numbers and characters. Um, and the model 1602 means that it just displays two lines of 16 characters. Usually we use this SSD1306 OLED display to display results for experiments and just as an output for our microcontroller. This is not included in this set, but it is a bit smaller and there are a few more possibilities of what can be displayed on the screen. For example, you can display graphics as well as text. But I'm sure we can be creative with what is displayed on this screen and it's going to be really useful anyways. Um, we've also got this motion se sensor here. And it can sense um, movement as far as 20 feet away. You can adjust the sensitivity of the sensor by um, twisting this here, this orange thing. And if you are interested, this is a PIS sensor, which stands for Passive Infrared Sensor. And it measures infrared radiation coming off an object in its um, view. As we mentioned earlier, we made some pumpkins um, with moving eyes. This might be good to activate the pumpkin when somebody comes near it. 
Yeah, and then we've got this micro servo. Oh, this is a micro servo, and for those of you who don't know what it is, it's just basically you can move this top bit here, <laughs> and you can program it to move it in different places. So you could use it for like a lock, for example, or a waving hand. <laughs> yeah. Last but not least, there's just this buzzer Buzz here. Yeah. Um, it buzzes. <laughs> <laughs> Handily, GeekPie have supplied a code um, for different projects that include every single one of these components that were inside the box. And this booklet tells you how to set up your Raspberry Pi Pico and where and how to get the code. It also contains circuit diagrams for each um, component in each project. And we're just going to have a go at some of those projects. We've just set up another project using only the components from the kit. We've used the Maximum To Do 19 Matrix display. We've just customised the code that Skeetpie have already written for us. And it wasn't that hard, we just changed this line here. So this um, just shows that this is great for beginners because to customise a proje project, it doesn't require much complex coding. We've just completed project three and stuck a hand on him. Say hello to the hand. We cut out the hand just from a sticky note and this project used the servo pack. I think this was everybody's first electronics project, making three LEDs light up. It certainly was ours. I do like this project though, although it's very simple, you can see where everything's connected and there are no, there's no magic involved. Also, this um, project is in the um, book, I think it's project two, and if I look at the code, there we go. Um, the code is also really easily customizable. If I wanted to change how long the LEDs were on for, I could change this line, or I could even change the pattern. So there you have it. As I mentioned earlier, um, this is my first um, electronics um, kit, starter kit. Um, I think it's from Seed, Seed Studio. And he actually got two sets, one for my parents and one for my grandparents. Yeah, I think they're from Maplin. I think this was um, from my seventh birthday. I got this possibly eighth. Um, I've pilfered most things from this for various projects. So there's not much left here. Um, let's have a look. I think, yeah, I've got some um, buttons here, switches. I think, yeah, this is a um, a tilt switch. Um, oops. Um, there's jumper wires. A breadboard came with this. I think an RGB LED. It had thermistors, buzzers. I'm pretty sure it had a servo, um, like what we use today for the waving hand. So this isn't a million miles away from what we've been reviewing today. Um, of course, it didn't come with a microcontroller, but I did use this stuff with my Raspberry Pi and I think an Arduino. Actually, I checked and you can still buy this today, all these years later, which is amazing. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our website that's pretty new, gurglaps.com, and there's a few good things on there, so be sure to check it out. Yeah. Um, anyways, have a good day. Bye.